I think that I was a collector by default. I think Whitney has always been an accidental. Fishing things out of the garbage can. I wouldn't call what I did before <laughs> before I met Jenny eclectic. I would call it more like hanging stuff on the wall. <laughs> Hoarding things. But. Probably half of my collection were gifts and they were gifts that I earned. They weren't gifts that were just given as happenstance. They were gifts that were given, if you do this, I'll give you that. These bottle caps, you know, devolved comic books. Comic okay. books, uh, just are you, are you general, just stuff, yeah. ephemera. Yeah. You know, I, that's how I started into comic books too. Really? Yeah, I had like, the, like a okay, well, really great we'll comic book. You know, like I'll a send major a letter out and we'll get You know, maybe kind of evolved into, you know, records and one thing led to another and I was collecting artist books and some prints and ephemera. What we started with was, you know, we found a dealer, we found something we liked, we got some pieces. You know, they take the advice of a dealer or a consultant or whatever and those collections to me are, you know, basically pretty boring and not very interesting. For me, collecting started when I married Jenny. For me, <laughs> I would buy something if I thought it looked good. I mean, some people just seem to collect things as commodity. So it was sort of the process of being the patron of the arts was the thing that got me more interested in the arts and was the thing that made me have discussions with people because I go to dinners and, and I think, oh well, these things really interest me. I'd like to know how to talk with them better and why she go to graduate school and I should become an art writer. So that's how the process goes. Exchanges with artists usually and uh, in the case of uh, some of the work you've got here uh, being in the right place at the right time to collect ephemera. Getting to know you uh, kind of opened my eyes a little bit as to, you know, hey, this piece is just a representation or a snapshot of this artist at this particular time, and there's really a story here. I think it represents growth, and also, I feel I have a really positive attitude that um, if when other people think something is depressing, I always look at the positive side, like, well, we can just grow from this. And so the collection makes me happy all the time. In general, I would say my collection is more conservative than me. Really disorganized and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, scavenging, certainly, I'm a born scavenger. I think that in any way, we I mean, collectors to one degree or another, if it's, if it's coming from some internal passion, you know, I think that it becomes a kind of a psychological portrait of the individual collector. If I have a stressful meeting or something, or talk to, uh, you know, a relative and they say something, I just walk around the house and look at the artwork and it makes me feel good again. I mean, I have a painting that's made out of cast marshmallow. Not a painting, a sculpture that's made out of cast marshmallow. So I've always been a person, ever since elementary school, who just did whatever I wanted. I never dressed like my peers, I never went to the same movies, or I just did whatever I wanted. I wanted to kind of uh, look at my, what I have amassed over the years and not think of it so much as things or what the financial value or the cultural significance of these things are. I think the collection is more conservative in the sense that like, you live in a house, the house has walls, a house has floors, you know, you need something that goes on the wall or goes on the floor. What I'm more interested in is, uh, you know, people are collecting things that have some sort of personal pathos. With the type of art that we collect, is it's always something that we have some sort of response to. And I find that a lot of the art that we've been buying more recently is a little bit more political, um, it's more topical, it's very much in reaction to what's going on in the world today. It actually will reflect what my interest is at any one time. We just tend to buy things that we, that we like. For the most part, most of the work is sort of uh, more ephemeral. This has always interested me. I've written on ephemera and I've been fascinated by these things that artists uh, produce but don't necessarily exhibit. Well, ephemera sometimes is just something that's a byproduct of another act, like the, uh, or an artwork or an artist output. Like one of the pieces on the show are, is, are two postcards by the artist Kay Rosen. And uh, so the postcard is for an exhibition that she had done, and uh, the piece on the reproduced on the card is called Black Cat. And she's basically kind of a superstitious person, and then after she got the card, postcard printed in the back from the uh, gallery, a series of uh, bad incidents took place or accidents at her household and she was convinced that it was 
because of this postcard. And so she burned all her postcards. And uh, I had published some prints by her and had known her over the years. And so I had a collection of her postcards and different things by her. And I had dropped her a note and asked her for one of those postcards of my habit. And what she sent back was a, 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 post, you know, a postcard just stating you know, why she no longer has the postcards. So I just kind of put the two together. And so it's something that's sort of a secondary kind of piece. And some things are exhibition ephemera. Uh, and or things that are like, given out as handouts, uh, instructional pieces, and things like that. That interested me about press releases. Um, now you could just go and photocopy an existing press release, and, and it would talk in terms of purposes sort of the same end as the original, uh, and would probably be as substantial as the original. But I, I like the idea that these were items that were distributed through the gallery while during exhibition's duration and not had no life, had no afterlife. So in that set in that sense, whereas everyone else was throwing these things away or discarding them, I was retaining them as reference points or something that reminded that of